Mr. Halverson, uh, as a follow-up to, to the question I just asked on the importance of levies. In Illinois, the Lynn Small levy in my district is a non-federal levy that was breached uh, what they refer to as the holiday flood of 2015 and 2016. Let me tell you, it was no holiday. Um, there's a, a mile-wide gap in this levy now, and this leaves about 38,000 acres of productive farmland in several rural communities without any flood protection. Would, far, would Farm Credit or any other lender, for that matter, engage with a levy district to finance a reconstruction of the non-federal levies in the absence of any uh, involvement with the Army Corps of Engineers? Uh, that is a very good question, I'm sure. Uh, I, I can't tell you the answer off the top of my head. I would give you a commitment that we'll go and research that and come back to you in okay. writing. We're trying desperately to figure out uh, the damage. I'm trying, matter of fact, one reason why I wasn't here earlier is we were in transportation dealing with the Army Corps specifically on this because not only is if we don't get that one repaired, it's for not only for the farmland, but also for navigational purposes. Because if you look at the state of Illinois and you go down to the bottom, there's a place where the river bends like this. Yep. It's actually called the dog tooth bend. It's about, a, about 17 miles around, drops 12 feet in that 17 miles. Mm -hmm. If that levee is not put, replaced back, it's already cut a better than a mile of the three miles across and navigation from New Orleans to the Great Lakes will be stopped. And so we're trying desperately to express how important it is to put the protection back in place. And uh, it's amazing when dealing with bureaucracies how we can't get things done. So thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.